Bachelor Nation, you guys, we are here to talk Bachelor in Paradise. We are live on ET's Facebook page, so please leave your questions and comments there right now. We will get them on, their, on our phones and address them. So much to talk about. I'm Lauren Zima. Hey guys, I'm Katie Kraus. And I'm Deidre Behar. Uh, we had two episodes of Bachelor oh. in Paradise this week. Bring it on. More so much. And of course, we've got to address Hurricane <laughs> Chad. <laughs> Love the Chad. I mean, he looks like Rambo in this. I love that. Um, but Ugh. Monday night's episode was sans Chad. No Chad at all. Yeah. We had a lot of Carly and Evan, a lot of Josh and Amanda. Should we go couple by couple? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. a good idea. Okay, how do you guys feel about Josh and Amanda and Nick, the love triangle? You know what's funny is I feel like Nick was kind of painted to be this bad boy a little mm. bit, especially when he came during Caitlyn's season and yes. ruffled all those feathers and kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. I am team Nick right now. I feel like you do not kiss someone, you do not ask someone out on a date just to get somebody else <coughs> angry. And that's really how it came off. I don't know if that's really what happened, mm -hmm. but that's how it came off. I hope that Josh is a good guy. I guess we'll wait and see, but I am team Nick. Did you just get I mm. couldn't agree more. <laughs> Nick Vile, okay, I was always your fan. I didn't like what he did to Andy Dorfman, but I was always his fan, mm -hmm. and I think he's really kind of shining this season. Yeah. He's been so level-headed. He's kind of like best friends with all the girls. He's been kind of their mm -hmm. confidant. And seeing him form this connection with Amanda, it also kind of disappointed me in her. Yeah. Because it's mm -hmm. like, if you do have a, I get, I get that it's paradise and you're allowed to do whatever you want, but like, it seemed like they had formed a connection and then all of a sudden, literally the whole last night's episode was her and Josh literally swapping, His swapping moaning. Yeah. Josh is moaning. Yeah. It was a little uncomfortable. Like, are they adding those and sounds in? Are they? <laughs> in post-production? It makes you wonder, but I also just think it's weird that they did it right in front of his face. Face in yeah. front of everyone. Numerous times. It's like, go, there's so many rooms in paradise. Go get And okay. he could have reacted unfavorably, and I thought he was so mature about the whole thing. He I didn't see yeah. one disparaging comment. Yeah. So good on you, Nick Vile. Well, Nick Vile. Well, well, well done. Well done. Well, with all the making out, I will say, so guys, I actually went to the Paradise Resort. It's not as big as it looks on TV. It's so small, and I'm sure they can keep that them. Hut? It's like one hut and then a little bit of beach space. It's not a ton, and I'm sure they kind of keep them and want them to stay in the areas. Yeah. But, you know, of course, Honestly, they're all there to be on camera, but yeah, how it felt very middle school basement mm -hmm. party, yeah. like your friends making out right next to you. That one moment where they were all the sexy six on the bed, Grant and Lace, yeah. Izzy and Forming Benny, their Josh click. and Amanda. I can't with that. Yeah. Uh, well, and with the mm -hmm. Josh and Nick stuff, uh, Nick was actually in our ET studios earlier this week, and I totally agree. I think he, you know... Bachelor in Paradise is weird because, like, when Carly split up with Evan, she even said, I have to break up with my boyfriend. You go on one date and somebody's your boyfriend, your boyfriend? or girlfriend. Exclusivity? That's yeah. not the scenario. No. I didn't think it was that bad that Amanda went on a date with Josh and seemed to have a real connection with him. Her and Nick had gone on one date. But I totally agree. Like, this is Nick's, like, shiny season. I mm -hmm. feel like he did two seasons of The Bachelorette. Maybe he's kind of over the pressure and, like, all of that. And he's just mm -hmm. hanging out in Paradise. Also, he knows everybody in Bachelor Nation so well at this point <laughs> that he really is everyone's friend. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. I think handsome. I'm going to throw it out there. I, I think he's attractive. And mm -hmm. have you noticed he uses a lot of sophisticated language? Like, oh, yeah. he uses some impressive words, and I'm like, okay, he's educated, he's yeah. smart. Um, and I thought, I think he's coming off really well. I think Chad also took a lot of heat off of him. Ooh. What do you guys think about all the book chatter between Josh Ooh. and Nick about Andy Dorfman? You know, I, mm -hmm. I have to say, one thing I will say for you, Josh, is if you didn't want people to read that stuff about you, you've certainly spotlighted it. Like, mm -hmm. I now want to read the book and know right. what exactly. I Googled it best. right after. I, I went to an article yes. that was like the six biggest revelations right. from Andy's totally. book. I think it's going to do huge numbers for her book this week. Yeah. If her book didn't get press back in May, it certainly is getting so this yeah. week. Um, I did the same thing. You know, I think he brought attention to it, which is sometimes the less you say, the better. And if that's done, let it be done. And I think, you know. Well, I don't think it helped his awkward. case. I mean, Josh is literally saying on the show that everything Andy, his ex, wrote about him in the book is false, ludicrous, not true at all. Nick then in his on camera owned up and said, no, some of the stuff about me in that book true. is true, which kind of discredited Josh. And yeah, very interestingly, Andy sent out that sort of mm -hmm. cryptic cryptic tweet. She said that she sticks by the truth. And okay. she only speaks two languages. Yes, English, English and, and truth. truth. <laughs> you know, yes. I think they had a very messy split and I don't know what I think of Josh Murray quite yet. Mm. I think he kind of comes in very suave and debonair and all the girls are literally oogling him like as though they've never seen a hot guy before. <laughs> and I'm not sure I trust him yet. 
Yeah, there's been pictures that surfaced of Amanda and Josh. Mm -hmm. What do we make of those? Well, very interesting. On the after show last night, because I'm sure you guys know this, but Monday night there's a two-hour Bachelor in Paradise, Tuesday night an hour of the show followed by an hour-long after show. <laughs> it's never so enough. Much bachelor. All week long. Um, on the after show, I thought it was interesting. I think the show has gotten to a point where they have to like own up that some of those spoilers will get out there. And in the beginning, they didn't address it, like confirm or deny, but they were like, there were some photos out, and so they kind of were lighthearted about it. I mean, I do think Josh and Amanda this connection is so strong so quickly that I could see them going all the way to the end. But do you think it's just lust? I'm very protective of Amanda mm -hmm. because she's got two little girls and, yeah. you know, it takes, a, a, you know, a very special guy to mm -hmm. walk into her life. Yeah. You know, it's one thing to just make out. But Lisa says, been loving Nick, but now I feel bad for him. He, I mean, he did, he was, he seemed into Amanda, but it was one date. I think Nick could bounce back. And you never know who will show up in paradise. So it's true. true. Mm -hmm. uh, Celia says, looks as if Chad learned his lesson. He should mm -hmm. get another chance on Bachelor in Paradise. He's actually a nice, decent <sighs> uh, guy. Okay, so we are so torn on Chad. <laughs> Again, it's last never time. Ending. Never it's never ending. never ending. I, I just feel like if somebody says, I'm giving you the floor to give an apology, mm -hmm. just say, Sarah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm wrong. You're beautiful and amazing. I didn't get that last night. See, I actually did. And guys, we are so torn because, I mean, we've all met Chad in person. He was really nice and chill mm -hmm. with us. This was before we saw the comments he made on Paradise and just how intense they were. Um, and, you know, I, I, we, we actually, E.T. was mentioned in the after show last night because <laughs> yes! Chad, Chad apologized to Sarah in our interview after I basically made him and said, Chad, we're, I'm not hearing an apology. So uh, <laughs> Sarah said, well, I saw your apology on E.T., but I want it in person. And then I thought he gave what did seem like a genuine apology in person there. Sort but of. also, is he backed into a corner at this point? Did he have to apologize? I, I'm kind of with Deidre on this one. I feel mm. like he was still making excuses last night. He kept talking about how Sarah was following him around and saying what he can't mm -hmm. say. And it just... He said sorry, and then I would have been okay with it, but then he just kept going, kept going, kept going, and it just takes away that genuine Less is more. Feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I do think, you know, kind of what I go back to at the end of the day with him about is, like, here's the thing. You're on reality TV. Maybe you do get cast as the villain. Maybe you do have to play into that, which Spencer Pratt defended Chad last Oh, night. my God, what an appearance. Are we surprised by that, though? <laughs> no. no. He's a Bachelor super fan. Of course he sides with the villain, but he said Chad was kind of pushed into this role, and now he has to live in it. But what I go back to is, when Chad's that drunk, mm -hmm. he is telling Lace to shut up. He is making really vulgar comments to Sarah. What's in you that when you're that drunk, kind of your true person comes out maybe right. and he says that stuff. That's what's truly the most yeah. frightening part about it. Should we talk about Evan? Because Jane says, Evan acts desperate. The way that Carly talked about him was just Cool. I cannot believe Carly and Evan have become such a storyline, but I love it. I'm all about it. I couldn't stop watching it. You know, I think they brought this up on the after show last night. It's a little hard to watch her being all cool with him in person mm -hmm. and then in her confessional interview be like, oh, he's revolting. Get in the way for me. Well, and she it's tweeted a little about it, too. She even said, she's like, I thought I was being funny, but I really kind of looked like an a-hole. Yeah, and I uh, thought yeah. that that was, it's a funny tweet. And she didn't really, I mean, she, I had kind of agreed with her. Well, I mean, I thought she was, was like rubbing his belly after their kiss. It oh. was a little creepy. When he's caressing her after she had just thrown up, up. He was like, take yeah. a clue. Oh, she I doesn't know. want to be with you. I knew it with a narrow kiss and he was like rubbing, rubbing on her. her. He took her ice pack off of her. What? You guys, can we talk about the kiss? This, yeah. The spit. The string of spit. It drool. Forever haunting our brains. I mean, I don't know what Ugh. it's like to kiss someone after eating a habanero for a minute and 40 <laughs> seconds. I'm sure it's not easy, but like, I mean, you can't really blame Carly for being physically averse after that. They put them in that situation, but... Guys, what kind of <sighs> crock of a date is that? I'm sorry. I know. I love that with the producer. I loved it when Carly said, why do I always get the... Dates, yeah, you know, was like, and she had a point. Yeah. You know what? I, I don't dislike Evan, mm -hmm. but I did agree with what Carly said. She was like, he just has no swag. <sighs> and it's like, he's a nice guy. He's got a good job. I'm sure he's a good father, but she's right. He just doesn't do it for me. Even Canadian Daniel said, we've got to make Evan less Evan-ish. <laughs> <laughs> how about, how put. about when he wrote the note to himself? Mm. I know. And then now he's, he's, a moment. he's <laughs> trying to make the moves on Amanda, and I'm like, Evan. What are you doing? She's already been on a date with Nick. Mm -hmm. Now she's just making out 24-7 yeah, with, with Josh. Them. And I'm just a little bit something just dropped. <laughs> okay. It's okay. You guys, I feel like Sorry, Bachelor... Guys. Just logo. Oh, just an easy logo. I feel like Bachelor in Paradise uh, is very... It's like seeing people revert to middle school ways. It is. Everybody's making out next yeah. to each other. Everybody's like, oh, I like her. Now I like him. Now I like him. It's, it's an interesting social experiment. It, it truly is. That's such a good yeah. way of putting it. 
Truly. Uh, yeah, Christy says, I can't believe Amanda completely dissed Nick and smooched all over Josh. Yes, I loved Nick's comment that Amanda is on a steady diet of Josh's tongue. That was yeah. funny. See, he's yeah. right. He's, he's funny. funny. Uh, Rebecca says, I'm rooting that Nick finds someone in Jared, too. They deserve love. Mm -hmm. I am predicting, based on the teaser, a little Nick Jared head-to-head -head over Kayla when Absolutely. she enters. Mm -hmm. I'm totally yeah. predicting yes. that. And I'm kind of loving this whole uh, triangle dynamic that we're getting so much Repeatedly. of this season. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, kind of, it's kind of fun it's and juicy. keeping things interesting. Yes. So what do you guys think about Evan and Carly? Are they over? Is it done for sure? I don't know. I'm very interested in that hospital moment with Evan. What happens to him? They that, keep teasing that. The and they blood made it seem like it was Chad. Out of him. And yeah. we never saw Chad come back to paradise, or did I miss something? No. I literally was saying this over and over again, and I have been trying to find out. We saw in the teaser that Chad seems to return. It might have been clever editing, but then they never showed us that footage. Did anybody ever tweet you back on that? Uh, I'm looking for no, answers here. I do know. I have heard through a source that Chad is done, that he will not be coming back on this season of Paradise. So that, I don't think we're going to see him again. I think it's over. I don't know if maybe after the reaction to his comments, they, they were just like, let's to, not no. even, I don't yeah. know. But we'll see. That would make sense. Uh, yeah. You know what? Maybe Carly will come around and realize that sometimes nice guys don't finish last. Like sometimes that is the kind of guy that you want to be with. I don't know. She seemed pretty revolted by him, she but he does seem like a nice person. It's so, also yeah. interesting because the girls are in power this season. Mm, yeah. And maybe when it shifts, I feel like that has a lot to do with it because people want to stay in paradise. Why would you not? You're in Mexico. Mm -hmm. There's... Jorge serving you yeah. an open bar. There's oh, yeah. sun and sand and beach. There's Zika and virus. Oh my God! Wait, should we talk Glamorous. really quick? Should we but talk you know, quick it about depends on who's in power? Yeah. Daniel's redemption. Oh my a God! Softer yes. side of Daniel that I, I didn't know existed. Well done, I like Daniel. Daniel and Sarah. Daniel. Yeah. yeah. I know he. And honestly, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes he goes a little too like Chad. Sometimes he goes a little too far with the jokes, but he's really funny. You can tell he's a real person yeah. deep down inside. And like, wait, who had that onion co the comment back and forth? That was oh, really was, was it Daniel, Daniel and, and Lee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Leo was a whole nother. Set that of editing that I though had. was oh so brilliant, and the music behind so it, ridiculous. it was funny. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was a really sweet gesture. He was like, you know what, Grant, or not Grant, Christian took her on a date. Mm -hmm. They had a great date, and you know what, I'm just gonna do what I can. And he set up the champagne and the chocolate covered strawberries. I thought it was a really sweet gesture, yeah. and she seemed to like it. Uh, Sarah does seem so sweet. I she love seems her. Like she has a lot of love depth. She's Sarah. so real, and yes. I want her to find love. I do too. <laughs> I, I think you know, at Bachelor in Paradise, you get to the point where you've seen these people on other seasons. And so you feel really connected to them and you really do root for them because mm -hmm. you know that they, you know, you get to know who they are and you, you want to see what happens. Um, just a little teaser and you can see this interview at etonline.com. Nick told us that same thing that he feels like in Paradise people's true personalities come out and he said he thinks Josh's ego gets in the way. Ooh. Hmm. So that's from Nick, but you will, you guys will see uh, more and more of this show obviously and we will be here watching it with you. Please continue the conversation over on Twitter and make sure to like us on Facebook because we will keep talking Paradise. There's two episodes a week. Thank you guys so yeah. much. Thank Have you. a great day, everybody. We'll see you next Bye. time. Bye. Bye.